Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to react to this video from Gothics because she's been putting out some really strong content lately, and she's been kind of, let's just say, fighting against the narrative, okay? Like, she is fighting against Black Girl Gamers because Black Girl Gamers has openly attacked Vanessa, a.k.a. Gothics. They have openly attacked her and called her anti-Black. They've called her all kinds of names because she doesn't agree with the mainstream narrative, and now she has finally responded to Black Girl Gamers, and we have that video today. What is the metric that you are using to say that I'm anti-black? You're just making it up as you go. You know, cut the crap, man. Now, I feel like voices like gothics is very important because what these mainstream losers will have you think is that they all think the same. Every single black person in the entirety of the country all wants to feel oppressed, all wants to have a victim mindset. Every single one of them only can play video games if they see themselves in the game. They can only watch TV shows or movies if they see themselves in those TV shows or movies. It's a bullshit narrative that is easily debunked by people like Gothics, by people like Atreus. There's so many black content creators out there and gamers that are just not for this nonsense. They don't want to deal with the victim mindset. So let's get into this video, guys. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Now, we're going to go over this video. It's about two minutes and 29 seconds long, give or take. So let's begin. I, I'm looking at my social media here and I'm seeing a lot of a lot of posts from people. Let me just search this really quick because I thought this was hilarious. If I search Gothics TV anti-black on X, this you you will get. <laughs> so a lot of people are reacting to her because uh she has the i'm the little mermaid now meme in her in her twitter headline which by the way hilarious meme it goes down in legend for sure but is the meme wrong right like is the meme wrong the meme is exactly what it is and it's funny because it's true and gothics touches on that in this video so this is my header <laughs> on uh on x and um Again, if you know my my backstory, you know that I got canceled as a Twitch streamer because I questioned why people were calling everyone else racist if they had a problem with Disney casting a black woman to play Ariel. So I said on Twitter, I said, can we just not call people racist for questioning why Ariel is black now? Well, you know, that's not possible, ladies and gentlemen. They... They want to be victims so bad. They want to be, uh, you know, we was Kangs and shit, right? Like that meme in and of itself is a meme that exists for a reason, right? And it's because it's only black people that are trying to insert themselves in places of history where they were not, right? Like when you see things about royal families and whatnot and British culture and all this, uh, it is quite hilarious. Now, that's not to say, obviously, before people twist my words, that's not to say that black people didn't exist in the world at the time of those royal families. But all I'm saying is when you see these race swaps of historical figures, first they started with fictional characters, right? First, they started with fictional characters that were always known to be white, and they turned them black. And their excuse was, well, that character is fictional, so it doesn't matter. Why are you mad? It shouldn't matter, right? That was their excuse. Then, after the fictional characters, they started race swapping real people. And then they tried to say, well, there was no actual distinct explanation of the person being white in skin color, so it's up to interpretation. No, no, it's not. No, it's, it's such copium, man. It is absolute copium to want to be someplace that you never were to play pretend i mean it is just so ridiculous right like again if you want to say that some if you want to race swap something that was known to be white and it's historically fact why don't you just put you know a drama series or put something that obviously is not uh not based on a true story just put that just put that like people nobody would complain at that point but again that's not what they want to do. They want to revise history because these are Marxists, ladies and gentlemen. These people are angry at themselves. They always want to feel like the world is out to get them, and they want to change societal norms because if they can change societal norms, it will validate most of their mental illnesses. And instantly, I'm anti-black. So, you know, I'm looking at this, and, I, and I'm seeing just repeatedly people calling me anti-black and their metric of which they are using to 
determined that I'm anti-black is this is this header that I have on Twitter. I mean, first of all, is the meme wrong? <laughs> is it wrong? Did you not take sloppy seconds of a pre-existing character for your diversity agenda? Oh, representation. You'll take the scraps of the white characters and then claim that you've made it. So that has always been my biggest issue, and that will always be my biggest uh, uh, counter argument to a lot of this nonsense. They love, and I mean love, to take the white characters, ladies and gentlemen, and here's the reason why. There's two main reasons I believe these Marxists love doing this. Number one, the validity in the white character. They know that the majority of famous characters out there right now are white they know that especially in movies and tv shows some of the most famous ones are indeed white now that's not to say there aren't famous black characters obviously in comic books tv shows and movies there are plenty but they know that the ones that have the most prominence unfortunately for them are usually white so what do they want to do they want to take that prominence away they want to take it away from the white man because they feel like the white man has taken everything from them so they feel justified in doing so that's reason number one ladies and gentlemen reason number two is quite simply they just don't have any creativity they don't have any creativity whatsoever they know that if they tell the story that's original to something let's say in africa the chances of it being successful is few and far between because nobody would know about it right it'll be something brand new never before seen never before done now i don't know i don't know if i necessarily believe it won't be successful i feel like people would rally behind it if it's something that's good and interesting and looks like a good movie but they just don't have the creativity to pull it off so what do they do they go for the lazy route they go for okay here's a very established white character that we know that we could take and pretend like we was kangs and shit that's basically what they do so they took little mermaid they took all of these characters and race swapped them to black and then pretended as if they did something which they obviously didn't but we don't want to talk about that clearly right we don't we don't want to no that's anti-black of me to point out. So these people are saying anti-black, anti-black, anti-black. It's like, it's literally copy and paste. These people live off of slogans, anti-black. So you're assuming that there is some type of a religious doctrine of blackness. So what is it? Where is the standard of blackness? In what way should I be thinking and speaking and interacting in the world? If you're saying that I am anti-black, then that assumes that there is some type of standard. Who gets to write that standard? So I love this argument that she's making because it's true. We already know what this is, okay? And they don't want to admit it because to admit what is the standard for black means that you must admit that you live in a mindset of oppression, okay? Like, you know, it's kind of like a crabs in a bucket thing. And I talk about the crabs in a bucket thing all the time because it's not just black people that do it. My own people do it as well, unfortunately. Hispanic people do this all the time where you try to better yourself. You try to be a better person. You try to do something that's not the norm for where you might have gr grown up in because maybe you weren't growing up in the best of locations maybe you weren't fortunate enough to be born to a wealthy family so you're maybe in the ghetto maybe you're not living somewhere that's not that great but you want to better yourself and as you're growing up you decide to uh pursue certain things that will better your own self instead of just being in the ghetto mindset right Unfortunately, what ends up happening is the people you grew up with, your family and your friends, what ends up happening is those people who are stuck in the victim mindset, those people who are stuck with the what what it really means to be black or what it really means to be Spanish or Hispanic, right? They have this mindset of what that really means because they've already accepted that they themselves will never do anything worthwhile. So when they see you trying to better yourself, when they see you trying to get out of your situation and just be better overall, what do they do? They always say the same thing. Oh, why are you trying to act white? What does that even mean? What do you mean trying to act white? Acting white is trying to better yourself? It's ridiculous. It's crabs in a bucket. If you ever had crabs in a bucket, what ends up happening is one crab will always try to escape and the other crabs will hold that crab down and make sure that he can't. Is it Al Sharpton? Is it Black Lives Matter? Is it Black Girls Gamers? <laughs> I love that she mentions Black Lives Matter because the owner of Black Lives Matter bought uh, multiple mansions in white neighborhoods. Is it the collective of the black community? What is the metric that you are using to say that I'm anti-black? You're just making it up as you go. You know, cut the crap, man. That's what it is. That's what it is. A fantastic video. If you guys aren't following Gothics again, I'll keep recommending her. Uh, because she's putting out great stuff and it's a voice that we need especially in this current gamergate 2.0 
that we're experiencing right now and i think it's top tier so please go support gothics and check out her full response video that she has on her youtube channel so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out